Well, it's Thursday and it's four o'clock our new time, and you're watching Chelsea and Tony Live. Today we're going to be reviewing your portrait photos. So if you haven't already submitted those, you can do that now at sdp.io slash submit. We'll be going through those and giving some editing tips. We have a news piece about uh, Adobe raising their prices, and I don't think that we have we chose a theme for next week, did we? Sports. Oh, sports, sorry. Right, next week is sports. Four o'clock again, Thursday. Yes. Usually we let our Patreon peeps vote on that, but I think you forgot. Yes, that's so true. I I'm going to do that. That's I'm going to take that over. Great. I have a reminder on my phone. Uh, but first, I want to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you need a, a website or a domain, make your next move with Squarespace. I know you have those beautiful pictures. I know you want to show them off. Don't just do it chronologically. Put all of your best pictures in the forefront on a beautiful professional website. And you can get 10% off if you go to squarespace.com slash Chelsea and use the coupon code Chelsea. Or use the coupon code Tony. I don't advise that. Just pick your favorite. No, it's Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, oh, and I wanted to say hi to Sam, cause Sam, you have been so busy with your campaign. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing really well. and. Yes, I've been really busy with the campaign, but it's all amazing, awesome things. So 2019 is a good year so far. Yeah, your photography business is booming. Can we see your magazine cover? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I have to have it right here. <laughs> oh, how it's convenient. Funny. Oh, well, <laughs> Look at you, on fancy lady, big shot. <laughs> yeah, and I got the cover story inside. So if you have any questions or comments for Sam or us, you can just send them over to Sam. She'll be going through them. And... Send them over me. Even though I'm, I'm laid back today with my bad back, I'm still here with a smile taking your questions. Yeah, Sam, you're such a trooper <laughs> you're and awesome. a celebrity. We really can't get enough of Sam. Okay, okay you want to go through some... Go back, go back, go back. Lindsay Adler is going to be joining us again on May 23rd, and she'll be reviewing your portraits as well. I probably should have planned that better, but look at me. Um, she is incredible. I would say that she is my favorite living photographer she is such a hard worker yeah she is so incredibly smart and driven and talented you're going to learn a ton from her the last time she was on the show i was she just was so, so nice she too. is mm -hmm. nice she is talented so nice. she is generous with her information you would be a fool to miss the show so that's may 23rd um and I, for now it's planned for five o'clock so we'll see if it's gonna be four or five i guess i'll let you know okay okay let's go over my one bit of news, which is something I'm really pretty mad about. Ooh, you're passionate. Yeah. Adobe is raising the price of their Creative Cloud photography plan from $10 a month to $20 a month. And they're so they're basically doubling their prices. Now, some bits of clarity here. It seems like they're not raising the price for everybody who's already subscribed. But I would bet that this is a case of it hasn't happened yet. Like if they raise the price for new people, I'm confident that there's a price increase coming for all the existing customers. I've heard that they're just kind of feeling this out and that they're going to gauge the response of people. So if people are kind of enraged, maybe they won't actually raise the prices. So I'm inviting everybody to wow. express your feelings about this <laughs> to Adobe and maybe we can actually affect a change and keep the price at the existing $10 a month. May I pay, play the devil's advocate? Yeah. I don't know what I can mention, but aren't they unrolling some new features? Well, there's always new features coming out, but I don't know of anything in particular planned. Okay. Um, I also want to point out, if you look at their website, the Lightroom plan is $10 a month. And this has created a lot of confusion because Adobe released a new version of the app called, that was originally Lightroom Mobile. And then they renamed what we knew as Lightroom to Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Mobile became just Lightroom. So they basically like swapped names, but most of us don't want to use what they call Lightroom today. It's sort of a mobile centric app where every single photo you store, every single photo you have is stored on their cloud and you have to pay monthly for that storage fee. So while the Lightroom plan that they call it is only 10 bucks a month, you will have mandatory cloud storage fees and every photo you take has to get synced to their cloud. And it also, it doesn't have all the features of Lightroom Classic, which is why we haven't moved besides the cloud storage thing. Wow. 
So it's kind of a big deal. And especially for new photographers getting into photography, there's no way I could recommend them spending 240 bucks a month. So if you go to my Twitter, you can retweet my tweet there. $240 per month? Per year. Per year. Per year. That's right, oh, Matt. Sorry. I was going to say, geez. Just to get started. A lot, customer? though. Yeah. And we'll definitely be exploring alternatives. Ooh. Yeah. Because once you get into Lightroom, you know, they store everything in a proprietary catalog and it's kind of hard to get away. I know. I've been using it so for So you so sign long. up for 10 bucks a month and then at some point they will raise the prices. And then what are you locked into this for the rest of your, as long as you ever want to see your pictures? But I like Lightroom. I know. I like I try, Lightroom too. Every time I go to switch to something else, there's always things that I like about it better. But then I always end up back at Lightroom. Same here. That's why we're still on Lightroom because we like it, but... I don't want them taking advantage. You know, they lock you into a system and then raise the prices. And okay. I don't think that's okay. fair business. I respect that. Okay. Let's look at a few pictures. Let's look at some pictures. We're looking at portraits today. I think this one is great. It's got really good eye contact. I think, Kim, you've done some good processing on the face. I like, I, here's what I like. I like the expression. Um, I love the dress and I love the idea. Um, here are the things that have changed. I think you over sharpened a little bit too much, like over sharpened, over saturated. And then um, the legs to me look a little bit like she fell, like had a tragic fall. So I would maybe like pose those a little bit more deliberately. This is very nitpicky stuff. It's a very nice photo. Um, but other than that, I like it a lot. What? Yeah, I, there's I like totally purple, agree. With the legs. That's what like I see how there's up. like something happened. Like I think. They sharpened here or something? Oh, you're right. It's looking a little grainy there. I don't know if other people will be able to see it in the feed, but it's yeah. a little grainy. But a lot a lot done right. Whoa. I there's something I love about this shot. Yeah. The odd framing of it. I don't know. Wanted I, I like it. dead or in Hawaii. Awesome shot, Aaron. Yeah. I would just bring up the whites like a little bit just to pop that hat. I love this picture. I'm also giving it a pick. That's classic. Ooh. Something very non-conventional, but mm -hmm. it's got a cool retro camera in yeah. it. I, you <laughs> leaned into the noise. Yeah. I mean, I think if it had been in some like halfway place, we would say get rid of it, but that's clearly what you're going for. It's interesting. It caught my eye. Good job, Keith. This is really sweet, but her hair is green. So oh, good eye for color. And if, like, if her skin was too pink, then um, you can go in with a brush and you can make that brush big. I like to press O and then you get a mask and then just go over the hair and get the green out. So those are important things like skin tones, hair tones, eyes. If there's any green or anything unnatural, people pick up on that pretty immediately. So keeping it natural is very important. But yes, I think all like the big stylized. stuff, like the pose and the light and the expression, I think yeah. are really nice. So like the way your hair is falling in front of her eyes and yeah. it can be difficult to get kids to pose like that, but you did really good. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, Johnny, I would just, I would just um, bring up the exposure on her a little bit. So that, yeah. Because she is the focus of the picture and she was kind of drowning in the shadows a little bit. Yeah, good suggestion. And you know what I'd do? You're already vertical. I would give this an insta crop. And then she falls, her face falls in the top third. So that's going to bring your eye more to her face. Good edits. Ooh. I like this expression. Yeah, I, I think this shot has a lot of potential, but I don't know. The blown out highlights are really getting to me. And the lighting is kind of rough. Like we have some weird lighting coming from camera right that's casting these shadows from her eyelashes onto her nose. I I think a single light might have worked better here. The lighting just feels kind of unnatural and spookyish to me, right? I love the styling. I love the pose. I love the expression. Um I think that this light here is just we're losing her jaw, but I still like it. It's still nice. Yeah. And her nose is like extra illuminated. Ooh, Speaking look at those lighting, colors. Got some gels going here. Really nice. Uh, and a very intense expression. Yeah. 
I love that. Yeah, good shot, Darren. I, I don't know that I have any particular feedback. I think it works. Oops. Wow, we have great pictures today already. We're going to do a uh, re-import too, so don't worry if you if you imported your if you sent us a picture when the show started, we'll possibly get to it. We get a lot of pictures. People <laughs> yeah. get very sad if we don't review your pictures. I'm sorry. We try to like spend a decent amount of time on each one and it can take a while to get your photo on the Yeah, show. I think most of the feedback we give is generally applicable. It's generally applicable. I feel like this is a self-portrait. That's his remote control. Yeah. <laughs> um, my one complaint here is with white backdrops, I actually like to see a little more of the backdrop because otherwise it kind of seems like you're floating. So just a little bit of the He's shadow. You don't need to completely blow out the whites. Sam, do you have any questions or comments from people? Yes, I do. Uh, first comment. So Jimmy Picks just said, where's your heating pad? And Jimmy, I just want to show you <laughs> have the heating pad from the show. So thank you. I'm just, uh, I'm on ice at the moment instead, but I'm going <laughs> to alternate. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, Aaron Smith, I have a great portrait question. How in the world do people get their kids to smile properly in a portrait? I try and I try. Sometimes I get lucky, lucky, but mostly terrible. It's way easier with other people's kids, I think. Don't you feel like yes. your own kids are always a little bit more defiant? But well, Sam, you might be the right person to answer that question. Like, what's your trick for getting a kid to smile? I just had uh, the studio filled with lots of kids over the last few months for this campaign I'm working on. I had multiple children. And at one point we had like 20 people in the studio and we're trying to get kids smiling and not crying and uh, not fighting. And honestly, it's a little of, uh, I hate saying this, but a little bit of bribery, yeah. uh, a little bit of being prepared with, um, I ask a questionnaire ahead of time, like what are their favorite things? And sometimes I'll have my assistant ready with an iPad playing like the stupid shark song or whatever. That song <laughs> okay. Is. That's good. Uh, you know, and I have a puppet that I use and, or I'll have a parent come behind me and literally like put the puppet on my head. Um, and then I'd make um, like poop jokes. Cause kids like that. Kids love poop, poop jokes. Just <laughs> the classics. Just bring out the, but just check with the parents first that that kind of humor is, is okay. Yeah. Some parents will flip out. They'll be like, yeah, you, you have say to the, like, the you have to kind word. of fill it out. <laughs> We well, don't do patty talk in our house. Yeah. Um, well, I have to also say with my own daughter, that was a challenge. I've been taking pictures of her since she was very small. And one reason that she's patient is that along the way I've taken pictures for her. So if you have a little boy and he has a favorite superhero and you do a superhero shoot for him and you show him that you can make pictures that make him happy, he'll be more cooperative. Same with a girl. So, you know, like be giving in that relationship, make a picture for them. And then they might be more cooperative. If you want more awesome suggestions like make poop jokes, <laughs> go to stp.io slash pro portrait, where we have a professional portraits video training series with more than 10 hours of video. And for the first time, we're offering a coupon for it. 30% off. 30% off. Code but I have pro to make 30. clear, this is about being a professional and selling your pictures and selling your services. Yeah. There is so much information on how to take the pictures. We cover just a tiny bit of that, but this is 95% selling, getting prints. What gear should I use? We get asked about gear all of the time. What portrait gear should I get as a pro? And we answer those questions here. And Sam help, helped us make this series because she's constantly making prints and selling to clients. She just got done with a huge campaign. So this um, campaign that I did was basically a marketing thing. And it's going to, my uh, goal for this is that it's going to generate me $15,000 in two months. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and this you are was, good at this the is, business. This is part. me doing free shoots, by the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a clever idea. Yeah, she has really good ideas. We have a whole um, group where Sam is helping you out and we're helping each other out. And also there's a 100% money back guarantee. So if you get it and it's not for you or not what you expected, you'll be emailing Justin and Justin will be like, we got to return. And then we all cry. We hold each other, but we give you your money back. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at some more pictures. You know, this first picture from Al here, I want to make a point that everybody should remember. Think about your final format. And in this case, if Al wanted to print this at eight by 10, this is what the crop would look like. And especially as a pro, like you probably sell some eight by 10 format photos, right, Sam? Well, I know you consider that small, but that aspect Sorry, ratio. Sorry, the eight by ten. Yeah, 
do I, I don't, that's the smallest print on my, on my, that someone can get from me. But I do know that you always shoot to crop. Like you always leave a little yes, bit Yes, I room always room. leave plenty of room because and Al here hasn't don't done need that. to know what you're going to get. Yeah. So look, either I got to crop into the feet or I have to crop into the head. And so think about that and shoot a little bit wider. Uh, I think this portrait is good. The lighting is nice. The expressions are nice, but there's so many simple things you could do to really improve it. Like take the backpack off and think about where um, this guy's hands are. Like his hand is kind of in his pocket and it looks a little bit oh. awkward. And then his other hand, I don't know, it's like a strap wrapped oh. around it or something. Um, and think about her feet. Like, oh, don't think about her feet. One is kind of twisted out and the other is directly facing the... So like little posing kind of things like that, you can help people out and it would make a big difference. <laughs> okay. I think it's really nice, but I agree there's small details. There could be improvements. Oh, Kevin, this photo is adorable, but I think you missed focus baby. on the eyes. Yeah, but they did the thing where they sharpened it to try costs. I've done it. <laughs> I've done I'm that. Not, We've I'm all not done it. Judging you. We've all been there, Kevin. Autofocus counts. This is pretty glamorous. I, oh, man. Dang. The cell phone in her hand and then the truck behind her. Again, it's these like little styling things that can make a lot of difference. Also, is that a genuine reflection in her glasses? Yeah. Oh, okay. It is. I, it looked so, there was so much Perfect. color to it. Yeah. I like it. I like but her expression. Great movement to it. Oh, yeah, we skipped. Oh, this is nice. I like 50 millimeter portraits now. Oh, this is with the Canon 50 F12. Pretty amazing lens, nice and fast. Gives that kind Whoa. of surreal, surreal look. Um, I don't know. I think the light's great. I don't know that I have any great suggestions for you. Nice shot. A lot of character to it. Yeah, I like the color contrast. Her hair is wonderful. Whoa, what's the story? There's a bowl in there. You did some kind of uh, collage. I like that. It looks like a retro cigarette ad. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. Like there's something really... I can see after study that there's a bowl in there, but it needs to be a little more clear in the double exposure, but I like the concept of doing double I exposure. I like your idea, John. You did something different and it was good. Well, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm going to just raise oh. the exposure a bit. So one, two, oh. hmm, what happened? A little bit of camera shake maybe? Uh, I don't know. The flower seems super sharp but her eye definitely seems soft right i mean it, it looks fine it at looks that fine. zoomed out yeah. angle but it must be a, a focus miss which is pretty common at 85 f14 it's hard to know i mean your shutter speed is fine um but it's really nice yeah the best i can suggest is just take lots of pictures like we've never found a camera that nails focus 100 percent of the time and then there's always some amount of camera shake that over in some of your pictures so but it's such a nice picture. Yeah. And you know what? I think I'm going to give it a pick. Yeah. They probably won't notice the focus miss. But no. We're, just, we're intense. We zoom way in. We are intense zoomers. We understand that. Yeah. People tell you who they are, but we ignore them. Uh, I think this is an awesome shot. I, I mean, it looks like, I don't know. It looks like a fashion shot, right? I'm going to give it a pick. I would I, just expose for his skin a little. Even if that means, even if you have to go in with a brush and just dodge and burn a tiny bit to bring out his face. But other than that, I love it. I'm almost regretting that camera out of focus in the foreground though, but it's not a big deal. I think it's a great shot. How great photos. I like this great, like really interesting expression right away. I found it interesting. Yeah, fun. I yeah, don't know why he's cool Sandy. Shot. What have you been doing, sir? He's stoked. Ooh. Fantastic background. Just the right amount of background blur here. But I think the crop is Great just job a little the lighting. bit. Yeah. Awesome shot, Bard. How? Does he not have pets? Why isn't there Labradoodle hair all over him? <laughs> There, there actually, you could do a little bit of cleaning up there. I see a is, few fibers and that's the kind of thing I would normally go through and do. Let me just look at his skin tones a little bit. You guys know I'm all about the skin tones. 
This is very nice. Yeah, that's a, you get, thanks for you contributing. Get what I love this. I love the colors. I love the pose. I love this like alternative vibe. It's very cool. Yeah, this is an awesome shot. Okay, you also get a pick koala meat pie. <laughs> Dang, why would you ruin a meat pie like that? Yeah, why would your parents name you that? <laughs> <laughs> Unusual name. Oh my gosh, look at that sweet little smile. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like a portrait to me though because we don't have eye contact. Yeah. Um, Make a funny sound or a poop joke. Little loony. Get them to look over. Little loony, do you like duty? That's what you do. Wow. It's, I think it's a stretch to call this a portrait. I don't feel like they've planned this out. Well, this is a <laughs> this it. is a portrait. It doesn't have to be planned. But her eyes aren't open because she's in a blizzard. Take her home. Make her cocoa. <laughs> I like I I like the story this tells. To go back to it, I mean, I think they'll look back and remember this moment. But yeah, I think her eyes should be open in the left one to be a proper portrait. <laughs> You did not just say that. This is a very, like, because it's so up close, it's like very intimate. There's something very personal about it. I like that. Yeah, I agree. I'm pulling back on the highlights a little bit just because his nose is up close, but also very bright. Yeah, <laughs> it's but a very powerful force in the frame. But I see why they made that choice because then their eyes are very dark. So, and then you could sometimes get into lightening the eyes and then it looks like fake. So I. Yeah, a little dodge again, Brandon could help. Ooh. Um, I have an issue with the crop. I feel like cropping right at the chin is uncomfortable. I'd like to see just a little bit more of the shoulders, like just crop a little bit lower. Yeah, me too. But this is, I love the lighting. Yeah. And I love the character and the expression. Man, I, I don't know if I like it better in black and white or color because his eye color is so beautiful. You did a really natural job of, of bringing them out. Yeah, great the eye work. color is great. Good I'll job. give you a pick. Okay. Feels like a candid shot to me. Doesn't yeah. feel like it was. It's candid. Our dog is scratching oh, the rug. Excellent. I apologize. Sam, do you have any other questions or comments for us? I do. Um, let's see here. We have, um, oh, I asked that already. Uh, Amel, Emil uh, Decker says, um, do you shoot portraits on single or continuous? I shoot portraits continuous. Really? Um, yeah, you just shoot single. I mean, I kind of went over the reasons earlier, but I, I will say it depends on the, well, continuous shutter. Yeah, always. I, I never push the shutter where I don't rattle off two or three frames at least. Oh, that's so funny. I shoot single. Really? I, I do. I don't mind either. I, I do switch it sometimes to continuous, but it's not very often. The only time I'll shoot single is if it's in very controlled conditions, just because some percentage of the shots are going to have a motion blur or a blink or something. And I like to kind of continuously change the pose. Maybe that's the difference because I, I tend to shoot portraits dynamically where everything is kind of moving and flowing a little bit. And I know you kind of like very carefully think yes. the shot and when you yeah. have it, you snap it and then you Mine's got very it controlled. And you move on. So I guess that it goes to, uh, Differences in shooting style. Very good points. Just goes to show there aren't usually wrong answers, just different ways of doing things. Yeah, but you should shoot continuous. It's the right <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony. What else, Sam? Um, okay. Um, a Austin Photos has a question. Uh, this is a very general question, but what is your favorite thing about taking portraits? Hmm. Well, for me, I I like just capturing the people. I tend to take pictures of the people that I know because I'm not taking portraits to sell them. Um, I find that a bit of a challenge for me because I, I get kind of awkward. But I love taking pictures of people that I love because I love just capturing um, 
a moment and a memory with them and who they are in that time. So I take pictures of my grandmother for that reason, because I really want to remember her, her and my daughter. Um, yeah, that's my favorite thing. I like the part where you kind of get to know the person a little bit. Yeah. Like I think every good portrait, even if you don't know the person, you have to get them comfortable around you. And so that you're kind of forced into this conversation and you have to learn about them and get them to talk about things that they love. I like that part, getting to know somebody a little bit better. How about you, Sam? What's your favorite part? Um, My favorite part about portraits is probably taking portraits is probably for me, the emotional piece that comes with it and just con the connection and how you can, you know, I took a photo of a brother and a sister in, in a same shot and they were fighting crazy, like crazy cats and dogs. But then, then you have this photo and they just look like they love each other. I don't know. It's like storytelling, yeah. creating. I don't know. I love all of it. I, you know, I just like creating things from, you know, you just have people standing in front of you and then all of a sudden they're just in these beautiful portraits. I don't know. I just like creating and, and moments. Yeah. I love that. Sam has I the best I see that answer. in your pictures. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's take a look at a Squarespace portfolio. This okay. one has a title page. I think that's important if, so you, enter. if you are creating pictures, specifically portraits, it's nice to have them in one spot where it's not just chronological, like Instagram specifically. I know I make the mistake of putting up not great work just because in the moment I want to post something. And then if somebody goes to my Instagram, they think that's my best work. I don't think that should happen to you if you're trying to be hired. So that's why it's good to have your own website. So let's see what our first impression is here landing on their site. I, I like just very simple Lucas Hernandez photography. Um, and take out this title menu item. We don't ever need to go back to the title page and it's good to have your menu as simple as possible. I will say one thing that I've noticed when I'm looking to hire people is that a little thing that stands out about your name makes a big difference. So even if like just the H is bright orange and the person qu can't quite remember your name and they'll be like, oh yeah, the H is orange guy. Like you don't even necessarily have to have some big fancy formal logo, just one little thing that's easier for people to remember like that. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Let's see what's up with Lucas Hernandez. Okay. There he is. Oh, you look That's cool. A good You're taking pictures. I love that. Gave credit to the photographer. Okay, very oh, respectful. From Central Texas. Like me. Self portrait. Can I? <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Can I read? Can I read? Oh Sorry. yeah. I'm sorry. We went scroll crazy on me, Tony. Go ahead. Um. I will okay. suggest combining the contact and about pages. Simplify it a little bit. Okay. My. Main work is directed towards one-on-one -on -one portraits. I do work on group and family portraits. Um, I might actually lead with that because when I was when I was starting to read about this first paragraph, I was wondering if you sold your services. Um, so maybe you lead with kind of what you're doing now and then how you got to that point. Good suggestions. Yeah, let's take a look at the tribal. I am just like off the rails today, just going wherever I want. Thank you for viewing my website. If you have questions, thoughts, comments, um, feel free to fill out the form. Okay. It's nice to just have your email too, because like, I don't know why, but forms freak me out. Do they freak you out? Yeah, I don't like the forms. People do use them. They use them on my website, even though I list the email. So maybe yeah, they some like people that, like them. I'm not a fan. Okay. So travel, the Pearl District, heading southwest. Oh, I like your self-portrait. You have very beautiful photos. I love this shot of the panning the car. Wow, the fog at night, that's beautiful. This looks like it's like stock photography for an airline, so that's incredible. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. Um, Are, do these open just the picture or is it a category? Okay, just the picture. I think unless it's a category, then you don't, need all of that extra stuff. Let's see, maybe some of these are a category. The Pearl District. No, it's just one photo, so we don't have to, I guess it makes it larger, but it's it's pretty big. Let's see people since. That's yeah, that's what we were looking at a second ago. RP, Sophia. Well, I guess we had a couple of suggestions, but I actually think these category pages look pretty good. 
Uh, I'll say, I know because it's Squarespace that you can pull it up on your phone and it'll look great or any kind of mobile device. And I just installed the new Squarespace app on my iPhone, which allows you to actually completely build the website and add pictures to your portfolio and rearrange it and everything from your smartphone, which is super cool because you can do a management completely in a mobile way now. Oh, that's you don't cool. need to ever go to the desktop. And Squarespace just keeps updating those apps, which is great. But uh, overall, I really love, Lucas, that you just have a very clean, simple, professional look. Yeah, I, I think it's really good. I don't have any big suggestions. Sometimes we want to give the website a complete overhaul, and that's not the case here, which is good news for you. Here's what Lucas has to say about Squarespace. Squarespace is awesome. Drag and drop is so easy. I can change my photos around in a minute. Everything in life needs to be drag and drop. Right? Why is okay? stuff overly That's a big complicated? Leap, but... It's very simple. And if you want your free trial today, you get a 14-day trial, which I think Lucas was using because his name was on the bottom. No credit card needed. You don't have to remember to cancel. It just ends when it ends. Or if you decide to keep it, uh, you can use the coupon code CHELSEA to get 10% off. You could also use the coupon code Tony, and you'll also get 10% off, but it's slightly better. And no, it would be a dire Sort of mistake. intangible. It would be a dire Intangible mistake. ways. <laughs> I would judge you. I'm going to skip forward here and try to find what feels like like a what? proper so portrait, cute. don't you think? This feels like a nice posed portrait. Um, it's so hot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I if It's kind of impossible. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I hit a key accidentally. Uh, it's kind of impossible to get a completely pure white background without blowing the shot out like that. Um, but especially depending on the quality of your lens, it can result in just overall lowered contrast. So you might just lower the brightness of the lights on the backdrop and then if necessary, raise them in post. But otherwise you get that like sort of washed out hot look. Yeah, um, unless that's what you're going for. But I like seeing her skin tones, she has beautiful hair and skin tones. Okay. What? I love this shot. Her dimples are so cute. Yeah. That's really a thoughtful picture. Yeah. That's beautiful. I I just want to try something with the crop, though. Hold on. Let me go 8 by 10 A little bit less hair. Yeah. I think that's a nice crop. Something about showing underneath her breast was very visually distracting. I don't know why. But I think that that's a more balanced crop. What? I like this story. I wish I had a, like a smidge more depth of field so I could see more of her face. But I love the story that it's telling. 99. Good job, Nana. Chelsea, can I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Uh, you have earned for your birthday. Uh, Jim Setzer has paid for a sandwich for you, ten dollars. You have also earned. <laughs> That's a good I sandwich. love sandwiches. <laughs> uh, Mard Lee has donated nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents for a pisco sour. <gasps> Happy birthday, Chelsea! Bang. Love to you all. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. I've been seeing all of your comments on Tony's um, savage Instagram <laughs> posts, and you guys are so nice. You really made my day special just seeing all of those sweet messages. So I'm definitely gonna get a sandwich and a pisco sour that sounds like a great day <laughs> yeah this was a big a big birthday for you <laughs> stop it tony <laughs> <laughs> you have people in there really like going what <laughs> i know people think i'm aging really well <laughs> yeah there's nothing wrong with that okay um but you know what's sad tony is when people are like 50 she doesn't look a day over 42 like, <laughs> oh okay guess there's nothing wrong with that i like this shot a lot i i was a little struck because i, I feel like oh there's something we could do to, to improve it but i'm not sure what it is i think it might just be too, too much fill uh, maybe it's too much too smooth but also, the light on her face might be a little too flat and thus we're not seeing shadows under her cheekbones and it I don't know, it just makes her face seem to, there's no definition in it. You know, she has good features and let the shadows kind of show that. Uh, yeah, that's true. You can go back and do a little bit of dodging, dodging and burning. That's what Chelsea's doing now. Yeah. Oh, there's so few shadows that it's hard. You got to be careful with this stuff because 
you can start doing this, and then before you know it, you have made the person look like a creepy doll. So proceed with caution. Yeah, when I first started portrait photography, I tried to make everything just completely soft, and I think it's a common mistake. This um, shot's amazing. When we first started right selling away. stock photography, I was also learning Photoshop, and so now that period of my life is forever remembered on billboards, <laughs> mostly in the Middle East. And it's shocking when people send me those pictures. They're like, is this you? I'm like, mm, it's some terrible version of me. Yeah, everybody overprocesses. This at first. is beautiful. I I didn't notice it at first, but I think Brian missed focus. I think the focusing caught on the hair, which is a shame, but you you don't notice it at this size. It's only when you zoom in. Like if you make a big print, you might notice it. What if we just took, made the whole thing look kind of soft so that you don't even notice? It's so beautiful. Yeah. I'm give it a pick. I mean, I love it's the just vibe. a great shot. Yeah. With the petals falling down. Sorry. Sometimes I feel intrusive when I zoom. I will note that I think we're zooming into two to one or something. Oh, like okay. Extreme, so. um, there's some kind of weird skin smoothing that I'm noticing. Yeah. Other than that, I like the, the expression and stuff and... Black and white, I think, is really good for this one. It's a very good shot, Eduardo. You got like a, it's a great pose and it's great beautiful. expression. Yeah, I love this one too. This is a yeah, great photo. I like this shot a lot. It doesn't really feel like a portrait to me, but I really like it. Now, why is it so noisy at ISO one hundred? Nobody knows. Maybe they Maybe added, they added noise. They added. Yeah, it, it has a, a nice look to it. Whoa, this looks like um. An album cover from the 90s, yeah. and I love that. I'm giving it a pick. You <laughs> think so too, Justin? Yeah, definitely. Don't you just want to go listen to Bush now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wanted to do some album album cover stuff lately. I like so much about this picture, except like something about her expression looks kind of like scared. Do you guys get that vibe, or is that just me? Like she's nervous? It feels a little purple to me, too. I want to do something with the color. It's almost monochromatic. She looks cold. Oh, maybe that's what it is. She looks a little bit uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. But it's a very pretty picture. Yeah, I I like the posing and the rock in the foreground mm -hmm. and the expression is great. Oh gosh. This is super cute. That's cute. I'm just going to give that a pick. <laughs> You're going to cherish that picture forever, assuming you know this person. <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh, what a great scene. I... Again, oh, well, you didn't nail the focus, but that's tough. I think you got a general good vibe. Oh, see the green? See how her hair looks green? That's because you're just getting color cast from all the trees. That's so tough. But it's a really nice picture. Yeah, nice exposure on it, too. Sam, do you have any other questions or comments? Sweet little yeah. baby. Look at the um, Just a follow up <laughs> so uh, from Mard Lee. She says she's the one who gave you the, the Pisco Sour. She's giving us a little um, feedback on our. Uh, she says, I'm loving my portrait training series too. I got hired by my neighbor after doing her portrait. Now she wants her parents. Yay. What? Wow. Amazing. That is how it yeah. happens. Get in the group. So you can join our group on Facebook. I don't know if you're already there, but like, you can ask questions and people are very helpful there. There's not many of us, but you know, we're but which means, in, you know, you get more attention. That's yeah, true. That's you, good news. you do get way more attention. Um, you've got, um, I'm going to try and say this name without butchering it. Um, Nakmani Sarkar says, uh, paid $15. Hello. I have been following the channel since I was 13. I'm now 22. You guys have been uh, a huge inspiration for me regarding all things creative. Please never stop doing what you guys are doing. Oh, thanks. That's Thank really you. touching. Thank Nab you. Nabhanel, so maybe. Nabhanel. Okay. Uh, and then also a $10 from Joe V1 Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I live in Rochester next to the Kodak building. I just found out uh, they made the first digital camera. Do you think that film would be the main format if digital wasn't so consumer friendly? Um, uh, no, because I think it's just easier and digital is just cheaper and easier and more reliable. And I think that working professionals would have switched over to that. 
Chris Reddy lives in Rochester. Yeah. He's usually doing the show. Um, and I think, doesn't Justin, maybe I was talking to you about this. Doesn't the Kodak building have like a nuclear reactor in it? Oh, geez. oh yeah. Chris can tell you all about that stuff. It's really cool, though. They did a lot Kodak of experimental stuff. Kodak has a stuff. very cool history. Yeah. Yeah. Neat. I think Chris actually used to work for Kodak. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for writing us. This, Down the shot is perfect, right? It's beautiful. She looks like Mila Kunis, too. Yeah, she does. I, I like her expression. It's very natural. Um. Yeah, that's great. Maybe that's, a hair less, Phil? I, I'm struggling to come up with any suggestions, but... I just I think it's lovely. Yeah. Okay. Unconventional. My little brother. <laughs> Unconventional. Um, approach with caution. Um, I do, when you have a portrait client, I will sometimes suggest a wardrobe for them, like maybe have them bring multiple different shirts in case <laughs> what they wear doesn't look great on camera. But I think that this is a look that he's going for. And so um, I think it's like the background is like the forest. So maybe he escaped. So that kind of matches the story. You are getting like... Um, this shadow of a twig on his face and you know what I think would be very cool if you had like um, What is the lighting? I'm trying to say like if you had like half of his face almost in shadow because he's clearly going for a Pretty spooky vibe. He's not going for a glamour <laughs> shot here. So why not just punch it up? Don't you think? Yeah, I think you might as well lean into it a little bit <laughs> Where are, Where are our filters? Uh, they should be in there. Oh, yeah, there's some. Cause like I just think a really creepy filter could work well on this too. Yeah, I like your cool blue filter on that. I like that it's called chic and airy because that it doesn't go <laughs> the name does not match you what's don't happening. You know, he might want to be chic. <laughs> cool. I'm really spending quite a bit of time on this, but it's different. You got my attention. Yeah, and maybe for the posing, maybe the hand under the chin like this. <laughs> what if he did the little heart hands? <laughs> Just suggestions to put out there for him. <clears throat> this is so beautiful. Yeah, the light here is amazing. Wow. I like texture on the skin. I think I've seen smoothie smooth yeah. so many times that it's when done. I see real skin, I'm like, ah, I love it. I'm going to give you a pick. I, for the pose, the lighting, everything. I might want to hit the shadows, like raise them up a little bit here just so... Her body kind of disappears into the background. You can kind of see it, but. What? I love this one too. Yeah, this one gets a pick. Um, beautiful, just soft light. Uh, great pose. Yeah, maybe something with the right hand. Man, it's but... so hard because I like their crop, but also her face is so gorgeous. Like a tight crop could work really well too. Great shot, Donnie. Nice. Um, it's so tough when you have like shadows of mm -hmm. branches and things on people. It can be really rough, but it's a nice photo. I like that it's very close. It's very serious lighting for a smiling girl in a princess dress. Yeah. And maybe think about the background a little bit, but I know. You catch kids when you can. But I think <laughs> you don't always get to pose them you, carefully. Yeah, and you got a nice expression. Yeah, it's a very nice expression. Maybe I do. Genuine and sincere expression. Ooh, I like this photo a lot. It's not... Okay, why I like this photo is because it feels very real. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing overly stylized photos where it doesn't look like the real person. It looks like I'm looking at a person that has on clothes that don't belong to them. I see that a lot. Or like overly smooth or overly perfect or overly, overly smiling. And like, I feel like this is really this girl. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a pick. I also want to point out, I like the dead center composition here. Like if we were to kind of crop this like you would for... A stylistic headshot you might go into the hairline a little bit and then it's not quite as genuine right it feels too processed i'm hitting the wrong keys because i'm so used to a mac 
Whoa, the transition is happening. I know. I'm no, I can't go back. I got to give that one a pick. Yeah, I gave Edward a pick. Great shot. Oh, great. Wow, you guys really have amazing pictures. I love this. Yeah, great light. Everything about it is great. Um, Like, I'm really focusing on this wood deck behind the person. Maybe that's tough. Maybe you could crop it out a little. And the back eye is in focus. But what I think you got right is, you know, I, I like that you caught kind of a candid moment and you clearly went out with this person and went to a new location and took photos. That's really nice. Um, yeah, getting the more prominent eye in focus is important. And then also make sure it's your subject that's the focus of the photo because I'm pretty sure, like, that might be the most in focus thing. And that your eye just goes right to it, so that can kind of throw you off. Well, that's super cute. I, yeah, that's a great shot. You're just a cute baby. Good job, baby. What? Scratchy Jim. Can I just say that that little baby looks like a circus ringleader? Like I wanted to see a top hat. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like, it's and like a, a one shot. of the, I don't know. Just like oh my props. gosh. This is a lot of contrast in it. Let's all bring attention to the most subtle watermark we've ever seen on the show. <laughs> if I could present you with a trophy, I would. Yeah, you need like an electron microscope to see who took the shot. <laughs> this is so cool and spooky. Old timey. Scratchy Jim. I want to give that one a pick. Okay, going back to give Scratchy Jim a pick. Uh, I like this, but I like, I'm. she has this bright jacket on, so I just want everything to be so bright and like clean. And I think that you can show the environment without having all that. Like, let's get like kind of like a leading line in here. What do you think? Yeah, there you go. I like it. Her hand's a little awkward, but I like the overall vibe. This looks like uh, Mac from Always Sunny, right? What? Let me see. I don't see it at all. No, not at I, all. Yeah. Um, it's a very shiny picture, right? What do you mean? Don't you think it seems shiny? Maybe Something it's the dodging the and burning. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, like his hands. Hmm. Well, so my main thing is that um, the body is lost. Oh, so okay. it looks like just like a floating hand and head. Yeah. Um. So I would probably just bring up the light on the shirt. Yeah, it's making a lot more sense to me now that you raise the shadows a little bit. So like here. And I do think it was probably a processing issue. Yeah, and so we'll just bring up your shoulders a little bit so that people know those are a thing. I think Alexandra oh, was going for something, but I, I don't know. There was something about the, the texture of it that bumped me a little. It was such like the lighting was so serious on it, and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it further. Okay, but but I like making it a little more conventional. Now you have, um, let's see, the the difference is like we just see your shoulders, and then suddenly that anchors the whole picture. Yeah. Nice, nice woodsy. What happened? I don't know. Oh my god! It was gosh. tragic, probably. I think it's raindrops, though. It looks like tears, but I think it's rain. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Her parents made her drink water, I think. That's what my <laughs> kid does when I make her drink water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a pretty cool shot. It's got a lot of depth. I would just expose for the, the skin a little more. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like your vans. Yeah, this is the kind of shot our daughter would really like of herself, I think. I like stylized, but natural. I like that. I like her natural expression. She looks so cute and fun. Ooh. Yeah, it's very cinematic, right? I guess that's why they probably cropped it to that sort of 21 by mm -hmm. 9 ratio. They had a, they had a vision. Yeah. Good job. Great shot. 
very nice and natural. Wow, we are just like, we keep going because these pictures are so good. <laughs> yeah, we should stop at some point, but these are great shots. Like if you want to expose for your subject, but you still want your background the same exposure, you can, okay, go to exposure, raise everything so you expose for the skin, and then use a radial filter and lower the exposure of everything around it. You see what I'm doing? Good you trick, make, Chels. You gotta make it natural. You um, do have a Lightroom book that people can check out. I don't think I teach that in the Lightroom book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But clearly you know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, the crop's a little weird, but I like the whole, the story it tells. Environmental portrait. Um, I I said this before, but I like to see like a little bit of the shoulders. Yeah, I like I like to be able to see the skin and the skin tones a little bit. That's a little too dark. Um, it also feel, kind of feels like that overcast lighting, overcast, you know, where the eyes are kind of in shadow. Yeah, I think you just have to take a beat. A reflector, like good background. It's nicely blurred. Your subject is good. I'd say just like have her bring her hair out of her face and then put her in light where her eyes are lit. Yeah, it's all about the light. That's not, that's not really a portrait. That's nice. All right. This is awesome. That this looks, looks like, like an actor headshot. Oh, I was thinking author headshot. Oh, okay. <laughs> but both, it's that thoughtful. It's both. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Great processing on that, to be honest. I see people lining up to get pictures like this of their kid. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is super cute. Sweet little baby. Yeah, that's with a manual focus lens. That must have been hard. <laughs> that's cute. We have some like, my criticism is that she's wearing like a, um, like a clover shirt, but then it looks like a Christmas background. But maybe <laughs> like, maybe that makes it make a more cohesive thing, but very cute expression. Oh, dang, this kid is cool. We got to put her in black and white. So she's the coolest. Yeah, I would just think about the background because we had some like some fencing in the background or something. Um. Oh, I'm sorry I zoomed on you like that. I think that this is, I like what you're going for. I think that it like requires a little editing uh, to match the mood. So I just quickly picked one of my presets and then it kind of gives it a more cohesive vibe. Yeah, and yeah, a natural expression would help. And I would never try to do the like hands posed near the face unless it was a professional model. Like this is almost impossible to get right. Once you bring the hands into the situation, whew, that's you're too much to take on. on. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. Oh, that's, that's a great expression. <laughs> that's such a beautiful yeah, I'm picture. I'm going to give that one a pick. pick. Awesome light on it too. Natural expression, really beautiful lighting, really good background. Okay, we did it. Sam, do you have any um, questions or comments before we go? Yeah, there's a couple. Um, mostly everyone is wishing you happy birthday. That's We've got some sweet. people Thank who you. paid for more happy birthday. Oh, wow. Sassy Bacon, happy birthdaying you. And, Thank you, um, Sassy. <laughs> um, and then we have, let's see, this is actually a question that came in early that I missed, so I'm glad I got another opportunity. Uh, Nick Haffey, um, says, what is your opinion on why, wide angle portraits? Um, I think that uh, this was sort of addressed to all of us. I like wide angle portraits. I think that I like all different kinds of portraits. Um, and I think that really telephoto has been popular for a long time. And that can be nice because it kind of compresses the features and it can be flattering. Um, but I think that more wide angle portraits are becoming popular because they feel more real because people are always shooting on their phones, which are like, what are they, 24 millimeters or something? Usually they're 28, yeah. Yeah, so people are starting to prefer that look because it looks real or candid. Um, and I like that too. I, I think that's a cool focal length to play with, something more wide angle. What do you think? I've been forcing myself to shoot portraits with wider angles because I think it's such an important emerging trend and I know I'm not going to nail it day one or year one. Like to learn a focal length can take a lot of practice and discipline, especially when it comes 
it's it's tricky with people. Like you get the faces too close and their facial features are going to get all distorted. Yeah, they look weird. And, you know, you have so much background in a wide angle shot that it's kind of hard to manage that and make it look good. It is a challenge, but I totally agree. It's an up and coming trend that but we should all be practicing. It's also a different vibe too. Like I'll not to speak for you, Sam, but Sam is doing family portraits and she's selling them to, you know, moms and dads and they might not want some funky wide angle picture. Um, but if you're doing like high fashion or something, then it's good that it looks kind of funky. So it kind of has its place. Sam, what, what are you thinking? You know, it's so funny that this question came up because, um, after, you know, I'm going in my eighth year in business and just that last week I bought my first 35 oh, millimeter wow. lens. So I bought the, uh, the one four Sigma art lens. Cause I have the 50 and I love it. And I use it a lot. And I specifically got it because I, like you guys just said, I noticed that this is sort of a trend that's happening and I, I don't have a lot of experience. I I'm usually at, you know, 85, mm -hmm. my 70 to 200. And I all last year, I forced myself to shoot 50 specifically because I wanted to get more comfortable doing that. And so now 50, I love my 50 and I decided I'm, this trend is still here. It seems to be, you know, continuing. So I bought the, the 35 and it feels really strange, but I'm, I've shot two sessions. I just pulled it out for a couple of shots and then I put it away. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, What's the biggest but, challenge you're having with it? Um, I think the, the largest, the biggest challenge is just what it does to the body Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what angles where I need to be at so that it looks appropriate. Yeah. And, and if you get things towards the edges of the frame, suddenly they can have really long, weird arms or that, I, that I, I, um, I'm comfortable dealing with, but, and also Tony, what you said as well is that, you know, you have a whole lot more to look at. It's not, that's not as bad as if I was going from, from 85 to 35 with my 50, I'm still very aware of the space that's around me and yeah. what's in the corner of the image and other people walk, whatever. But, um, I think it's just a matter of, looking at the whole scene and really taking my time doing that. And then also just what it's doing to someone's body that I can't stress enough that if you don't pay attention to what someone's body looks like, and you're just looking at the image, like, Oh, it's a cool shot. But meanwhile, you've made someone's head look big or someone who's maybe wide bottomed, like pear shaped. You've made that you look bigger mm -hmm. you just now have an unhappy client and you look at the picture and you're like oh it's a badass picture but really you made them look terrible because yeah. that's that's what they see so yeah i'm always looking about uh, looking at what i've done to the figure and or what's flattering or yeah not flattering. and you made a good point you can make that wide angle work for you and make it flattering because suddenly if you're shooting from down low you can make them look so tall and mm -hmm. long and thin so like you have to get used to the focal length you're shooting in or you can give him a tiny head. You can give him a tiny head. <laughs> give him a tiny head. People love that. Okay. Thank you so much, Sam, for joining us. You had so much helpful advice. Thank you for having me. And thank you, Justin, for manning the battle station. Anytime. <laughs> and we'll see you next week at 4 o'clock on Thursday, where the theme will be sports. Hopefully, we'll start on time. We're going to be working with YouTube to try to hammer out the issues yeah. that we've had. We're having Doesn't issues. It seem to be on them. our side. but Yeah not good but anyway thank you squarespace for making this show possible if you want your very own squarespace website go to squarespace.com slash chelsea and use the coupon code chelsea that'll get you 10 percent off or use the coupon code tony whichever you feel but tony is slightly better see you next week bye <laughs>